Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the new patch Scraps of Fate. I'm on Magicka Warden with a double ice staff build like on the previous patch, but with the new set called Rune Carver's Blaze. It is completely broken at the moment, they will change it, but we will see how uh, big the nerf will be. Even if they nerf it by 50%, it's still insane. Look at this damage here, 14.8k, even if I over it a lot here. Plus the burning status effect, another 4 to 5k, so almost 20k on the Magicka Warden. On DKs or on Necros even more, since they are dot classes. And this set procs always if a dot gets applied. I'm not sure if it's bugged or if they just a ninja buffed it somehow, but for now it's completely broken. If room cars should get completely nerfed into the ground, don't worry. You can still use my previous PvE build, I will link it in the description below. Then Renekwen or the buddy, without a monster set and without a mythic item, since we need to start Rune Carver's place on the buddy, otherwise it will not really work. I did some tests uh, with Rune Carver's on the back bar, was around 4 to 5k less damage. Front bus did the master's eye stuff, with frost reach as spammable, which also applies the chat status effect. Which, as you may know, deals a ton of damage now with the new passive from the previous patch, Glacial Presence. Every time when we apply the chill status effect, this effect deals 1k and that's unbuffed. It skates on your highest offensive stat, in this case, spell damage. Let's take a look on shield. It did 11k, almost more than Relic when. It's insane. Then, back bar as filler, might some perfected eye stuff. Did some tests with Black Rose Prison, works too. But I like this full range setup with double eye stuff more. Quick look on the skills. Front bar degeneration, extra dot, then sub training assault, still the stamina morph. The magica one is not sustainable. Frost reach is spammable. Cutting dive, they change this one. It applies now always the bleed damage effect instead of only if the enemy is not off balanced. So a small buff here. Bar trap for minor force and the extra weapon damage just started. Still white guardian on both bars. The bear deeds insane amount of damage. Back bar elemental susceptibility for extra chill status. But keep in mind only one player can use the skill in dungeons or raids. It gets overwritten by the other one. So in actual content if you want you can slot the orb or scalding rune as an extra dot. Or even care troops which helps for sustain. Then Unstable Wall of Frost, Arctic Blast, still as AoE dot, also here with really nice, and applies the chill status effect, Swarm Exo dot, Winter Syringe powerful AoE dot, and like I said by Guardian on both bars. Raise High Elf, Best and Snot, followed by Dunmore. Thief as Mundus, what else, and Ghastly the Eyeball, definitely needed for Magicka sustain. Attribute points, everything Magicka, and the potions, normal spare power potions. CPs, Mastered Arms, Steady Aim, Warfare Strikes and Exploiter, Red One, Treasure Relation, Fortified, Pontus Vitality, and Celerity. Here we are with the pass, I will link you the written notation in the description below, should be easier to follow. Will be the same rotation like in the previous patch. I did some tests with Wrecking Ball on the back bar and the 2 age. felt terrible, even if it did around 2 to 3k more. But honestly guys, it didn't feel like a Magicka Warden. I'm not even sure if Wrecking Ball on the back bar is useful for extra content. This time with a faster video, I still need to do a ton of tests on other classes, so enjoy the pass, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!
chase my steps.